Lesson 6.5, Add and Subtract Fractions with Unlike Denominators. We can use a common denominator to add and subtract fractions with unlike denominators. We can use the product of their denominators to write equivalent fractions that have common denominators. Then we can add or subtract and simplify. If we have one half and one third, we can just multiply two times three to use six as a common denominator. We can also list the non-zero multiples of each denominator to find their least common multiple to use as their common denominator. We have one half plus one third. We list the multiples for two and the multiples for three. We find their least common multiple. We can see they have 12 in common, but that's not the least. Six is the least. We use six as the common denominator. We ask ourselves two times what number is equal to 6? That would be a 3. We need to multiply the numerator by 3, the same number. We get 3, 6. And 3 needs to be multiplied by 2 to be 6. We multiply the numerator by 2. We get 2, 6. Now they have the same denominator. We can add 3, 6 plus 2, 6. We get 5, 6. Remember the numerator must be multiplied by the same factor as the denominator. If we're going to use 6 as the denominator, 2 times 3 is equal to 6. The numerator 1 needs to also be multiplied by 3. We get 3, 6. We don't want the numerator to get jealous. It needs to be multiplied by the same factor as the denominator. To add 1 third plus 2 ninths, multiplying denominators for the common denominator, we do 3 times 9. That's equal to 27. So we can use 27 as their common denominator. 3 times 9 is equal to 27. So we need to multiply the numerator 1 times 9. That's 9 27 9 needs to be multiplied by 3 to be 27. We multiply its numerator times 3 and we get 6. Now we're adding 9 27 plus 6 27 That's 15 27 We need to write it in its simplest form. By multiplying denominators, we will probably need to find the simplest form. We learned how to do that in video 6.1, which is linked in the description. We find their common factor, their greatest common factor, and they share 3 as a common factor. And 15 divided by 3 is 5. 27 divided by 3 is 9, it's equal to 5 ninths. Adding 1 third plus 2 ninths by finding the least common denominator, we list the multiples of the denominator 3 and the multiples of the denominator 9. We can see they have several multiples in common. They have 9, 18, 27. We need the least common, so that would be 9. So, this is already a 9, we just leave the 2 ninths as it is, and 3 times 3 is 9, we multiply the numerator by 3, we get 3 ninths plus 2 ninths, which is equal to 5 ninths. And by finding their least common denominator, the sum may be in simplest form, but we will still need to be sure, we will still need to check to see if 1 is the only common factor for the numerator and denominator then it will be in simplest form. To add or subtract fractions, their denominators must be the same number. We cannot add or subtract fractions until we give them a common denominator. Here we have 8 elevenths minus 3 fifths. We can multiply their denominators. 11 times 5 is equal to 55. We can use that as their common denominator. We ask ourselves, 11 times what number is equal to 55? Well, that would be 5. That means we need to multiply 8 times 5 to find our numerator. And that would be 40. 8 elevenths is equal to 40 55ths. We ask ourselves 5 times what number is equal to 55? Well, that would be 5 times 11. We need to multiply the numerator 3 times 11, which is 33. Now, for our subtraction equation, we have 40 55ths minus 33 55ths. 
and 40 minus 33 is 7, our difference, our answer, is 7 55ths. And that is in its simplest form because 1 is the only common factor for 7 and 55. When subtracting two fractions with unlike denominators, we follow the same steps as addition by finding common denominators, except we subtract. We have 7 eighths minus 1 fourth. The 4 and the 8 can meet at 8. We can give them 8 as a common denominator because 4 times 2 is 8. This already has 8 as a denominator, so we just slide it over. 4 times 2 is 8, so we multiply 1, the numerator, times 2 and get 2 eighths. Now we have 7 eighths minus 2 eighths, which is equal to 5 eighths. And sometimes only one of the fractions will need to be changed to an equivalent fraction. This one was already there. Make sure the answer is written in simplest form when one is the only common factor for the numerator and denominator. We need to make sure our sum or difference is reasonable. We can estimate our answer using benchmarks of zero, one half, or one whole. We learned about those in video 6.3, which is linked in the description. If the answer isn't reasonable, we may have made an error and we'll need to check our work to see if something is wrong. If we have 1 8 plus 5 9 1 8 is very close to 0. It's a very small numerator. 5 is almost half of 9, so we can estimate this to be a half. So we have 0 plus a half. The sum is about 1 half. A variable is a letter of the alphabet that takes the place of an unknown amount. We can solve for the variable n. We have 2 fifths plus n is equal to 11 fifths. So we think we can use subtraction, the inverse of addition, to solve this. We can think 11 fifteenths minus 2 fifths will equal n. We have 11 fifteenths minus 2 fifths. The 5 and the 15 can meet at 15 because we can multiply 5 times 3 to equal 15. We need to multiply the numerator by the same amount. We get a 6. We have 11 fifteenths minus 6 fifteenths, which is equal to 5 fifteenths. We just subtract the numerators and use that denominator. We can divide the numerator and denominator by their greatest common factor for simplest form, and they both have 5 in common, 5 divided by 5 is 1, 15 divided by 5 is 3, we can see the variable n is equal to 1 third. And take a look at this model. What fraction of this model is pink? So we think we can multiply, it's got 7 units across and 6 units down, we can multiply 7 times 6 for the total area as the denominator and we can multiply this 5 across and 4 down as 5 times 4 as the numerator. We have 20 that are pink and 42 total units in the whole model. 5 times 4 is 20, 7 times 6 is 42. We know 20 40 seconds of the model is pink. We list the factors of 20 and of 42, 1 times 20, 2 times 10, 4 times 5, Factors of 42 are 1 times 42, 2 times 21, 3 times 14, 6 times 7, and they have a 2 in common. We divide 20 divided by 2 is 10, 42 divided by 2 is 21. We know that 10 21 is pink, and that's written in simplest form. Fractions greater than 1. Sujin lives 7 ninths kilometers from her grandmother's house. If she rode her bicycle to visit her grandmother, then rode home, how far did she ride her bicycle? We think the diff distance is 7 ninths both ways. We can add to solve the problem. 7 ninths there and 7 ninths back. They have the same denominator, so we can just add the numerators. We have 14 ninths. And when the numerator is greater than the denominator, we can regroup the fraction to make whole numbers, then we can rewrite it as a mixed number. 
14 ninths is equal to 9 ninths plus 5 ninths. 9 ninths has the same numerator and denominator. That's one whole. We have 1 and 5 ninths kilometers. Fractions greater than 1 are also called improper fractions. If we need to add 11 fourteenths plus 4 sevenths, the 7 can meet the 14 at 14. Because 7 times 2 is 14, we multiply the numerator by the same number 2, and we get 8 fourteenths. Now we can add 11 fourteenths plus 8 fourteenths. 11 plus 8 is 19, we have 19 fourteenths. And 19 fourteenths is equal to 14 fourteenths plus 5 fourteenths. That means we have the same numerator and denominator as one whole, and 5 fourteenths, it's 1 and 5 fourteenths. So make sure you are multiplying the numerator and denominator by a factor that will give you that common denominator. In our next lesson, 6.6, .6, we're going to add and subtract mixed numbers with unlike denominators. Remember that I'm on Facebook as Joanne School. I'm also on Twitter. And remember to hit the like button. Have a wonderful day. Bye.